So, Recording. so hi everyone and welcome to this video on uh, solving for the Walrasian equilibrium allocations in a simple problem. So consider this simple problem wherein we have two uh, consumers or two uh, individuals uh, who choose to consume two particular goods and uh, they operate in an exchange economy setting. So we have two utility functions here a utility function for consumer one, which is X1, X2, and a utility function for consumer two, which is two LN X1 plus LN X2. The endowment for consumer one is four zero, and the endowment for consumer two is zero four. Okay, so we want to find the associated Walrasian economic uh, equilibrium allocations in this economy. So uh, how do we do that? Well, step one, okay, step one is we, find okay, the Marshallian demand functions, Marshallian demand functions for each consumer. Okay. Each consumer, that's step one. Then uh, let's sort of do that step. So for consumer one, for consumer one. So in order to find the Marshallian, we have two first order conditions to follow. One is that MRS one two is equal to the price ratio, and uh, you have two that uh, your income is equal to P one X one plus P two X two. So we have to use those two first order conditions. So we start with MRS. So MRS again is computed for for the first consumer as MU one over MU two marginal utility, right? So if we derive MU1, if we derive the utility function with respect to X1, we get X2. If we derive the utility function with respect to X2, we get X1. So we note that U1 is equal to X1, X2, right? Therefore, MRS is equal to X2 over X1. Then uh, we equate this to P1 over P2. This allows us to get an intermediate value for one of the two goods, say, for example, x2. In this case, x2 is equal to p1 x1 divided by p2, right? So we just cross multiply that going there. Okay. After then, after this, we use the second first order condition. That's y is equal to p1 x1 plus p2 x2. But we plug in this intermediate value. And we should get y is equal to p1 x1 plus p2 times p1 x1 over p2. Cancel, cancel, and then you get y is equal to okay, 2 p1 x1. Then divide both sides by 2 p1 to get x1. Therefore, you get x1 star py, which is your Marshallian demand function for good one, as y over 2p1. So that's the Marshallian. Then uh, we need to do the same for good 2. So to do that, just plug it in. x2 star py is equal to p1. Remember, we solved for, um, we solved for a form here. That's this form here, right? So we just plug it in. The actual value of x1, so that's p1 times uh, y over 2p1 divided by P2, this cancels out. So we get Y over two times one over P2, which is Y over two P2. So X2 star PY is equal to Y over two P2. That's what we have there, okay. Then uh, we now have the Marshallians for consumer one. We need that for consumer two. So for consumer two, Two, so recall U2 is equal to 2 ln x1 plus ln x2, okay? So again, using the first order condition, the first, first order condition, we get MRS 1, 2, 2 is equal to P1 over P2. So um, MRS again is um, MRS 1, 2, 2 is equal to MU1 over MU2. So if we derive the function here with respect to x1, we get 2 over x1 
Then we derive it with respect to x2. We get 1 over x2. This is equal to 2 over x1 times x2, which is equal to 2x2 over x1. Okay, that's what we have there. Then what we do now is we equate this to p1 over p2. Therefore, we get uh, an intermediate form, say for x2, of x2 is equal to p1 x1 over 2 p2. We do the same. We use the second first order condition. y is equal to p1 x1 plus p2 times x2. x2 is p1 x1 over 2 p2. So this cancels out. And then we get y is equal to 3 over 2 p1 x1. Therefore, we find that x1 star py is equal to, it's going to be 2y over 3 py, right? And if you solve also for x2 star, you'll find that this will be y over 3 p2. So we now have the Marshallian demand functions for both consumers. So you have this one here, and uh, let's just make this formal, x2 star py is equal to this one here, okay? From here, okay, what we can do is we can uh, uh, now start to put in the endowments, right? So we call, okay, E1 is equal to uh, four zero, four zero, and E2 is equal to zero four, right? So step two, step two, Evaluate the endowments. The endowments. So we have here uh, x11, one, one, one of consumer one, py, is equal to y over 2p1, right? We solve that, that's here, right? Now, notice the endowment of consumer one is four zero. So that means that y for consumer one is equal to four P one plus zero P two because consumer one will not buy uh, any, uh, has no budget allocated for good two. So it will be four P one plus zero P two. So you have here four P one divided by two P one, which is equal to two. So right then in there, because of the simplicity of the endowment, we already have one of the uh, allocation, one of the uh, at least quantities for a uh, good one for consumer one. So next one is x21 py is equal to y over 2p2. This is equal to, again, for consumer one, it's 4p1 over 2p2. So we get 2p1 over p2. Okay. Next, we have x1 of consumer two py. And this is equal to, as we solved, 2y over 3p1, 2y over 3p1. But for consumer 2, endowment is 0, 4. So y is equal to 0p1 plus 4p2, which is just 4p2. So we get 4p2 over 3p1, which is equal to uh, times 2. Okay, So we get 8p2 over 3p1. Okay. Next, we have x22 py, which is equal to y over 3p2. So we get uh, 4p2 over 3p2, which is equal to 4 thirds. So we now have those quantities there. So having solved for the values of the Marshallians, evaluating the endowments, okay, we need to proceed to step three, which is satisfy market clearing and compute for prices. So step three, Appeal to market clearing. Clearing. So we have two markets here, market for good one, market for good two. So in the first market, it must be that x11 py plus x12 py should be equal to uh, four plus zero. Okay, so that should be equal to four. Then two is x. 2,1py plus x22py should be equal to 0 plus 4, right? So that's equal to 4. 
Okay, if we plug in what we know from the past step, so this should be two plus um, eight P2 over three P1 is equal to four. And then we have here uh, two P1 over P2 plus four over three is equal to four. Okay, so that's market clearing. Step four is compute for prices. Step four, compute prices, right? Then this is easy. Just use any of the two market clearing conditions we have, okay? We only need to use one of them because if one market clears, then automatically the other market will also clear, okay? So let's say let's using one, using one, Okay, so we get um, 2 plus 8p2 over 3p1 is equal to 4. So we have here um, 8p2 over 3p1 is equal to 2. Okay, then, uh, right, we transpose this to the other side. Then multiplying both sides by 3 over 8, right, to cancel that out. So we get um, p2 over p1 is equal to 6 over 8. 6 over 8 can be further simplified as, uh, if we divide by 2, this is 3 over 4. So this means that P1 is equal to 4 and P2 is equal to 3, right? P2 is equal to 3. So these are our prices. And the last step is to just evaluate what we have. So step 4, uh, step 5 rather, evaluate prices and solve for WEA prices and state our well region economic al equilibrium allocation. So we have here um, for consumer one, okay, X11, one, one, we don't need to really do much because it's given this is two, right? Next is uh, X21, which is X21 uh, PY is equal to two times, um, two times, this is P1 over P2. And this should be equal to two times, P1 is four, P2 is three, so this should be eight over three. So X to one PY is equal to eight over three. Okay, then we have X one two PY, this is equal to, okay, eight P2 over three P1, so eight P2, over 3p1, plug in your price. So you get eight times three over three times four. So you can simplify this, this becomes two, this cancels out, so you get two, right? So x12 py is equal to two, okay? Last, okay, x22 py is equal to, okay, uh, four over three. You don't really need to compute for it. So, to check whether your answers are correct, double checking that your answers are correct, x11 plus x12 should be equal to four. So you need to check that, x11 is two, x12 is two, and that's equal to four. So you're good there. Next is x21 plus x22 should be equal to four as well. Is that true? Well, your x22 is eight over three, then you have here four over three, which is 12 over three, which is indeed four. And you're good there, check, okay? So this means that the WAA for this economy, this economy is that for consumer one, you will allocate two, eight over three. And for consumer two, X two is equal to two, four over three, facing prices, okay? P1 is equal to four and P2 equals three. And that's how to solve for the Laurasian equilibrium allocations. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.